Welcome back to Tutorial Me. Today I'm going to be covering how to recolor vector art in spot colors quickly. And with this trick you'll be on your way to making quick cash for little work. And I have this set up all the time. People send it to me. And I'm going to go and share this secret with you that I use. So I have this artwork here. And like if you see if I click on the red it's CMYK colors. There's no spot colors in here. I have no spot colors in my swatches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my spot colors first before I do the trick. So in order to do that I will use my eyedropper tool and then I will click this color and I didn't make a spot color out of this. I can actually click new, name it what I want to and say spot color. The problem with that is a lot of printers use um, PMS Pantone matching, matching system to create their spot colors. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is use my color guide palette and you'll you see this is a neat trick also within itself and at the bottom of color guide on the bottom left hand side you'll click the icon down the bottom and choose color books and Pantone solid coded or uncoded I usually use solid coded for my work so it matches the closest thing it has to that color in the Pantone matching system so I'll click each of these colors the red the yellow and so I have my four colors. It's going to be a four spot color job. So somebody sent this to me as a CMYK. They need it in spot colors quickly. And I can turn this around within a matter of less than five minutes. Get it right back to them. So once I have this set up like this, you can select all the, all the colors in there and assign it. Like you can select, for instance, this color and go up to select, same fill color but a lot of times you have fills and strokes in artwork or there's a lot of colors that you need to combine I can select all the same fill colors assign this spot color to it and it'll be assigned to it but I don't want to necessarily go there because I want the computer to do it for me what well, the first thing you have to do in order to make this work is to select the four spot colors make sure you have nothing selected to select the four spot colors click on the first one, shift click the last one and it'll select all four or you can use your control key and click each individual one and then I'll click once I have those selected I'll say new color group so I'll make a new color group out of those ones I have selected I could have made a new color group dragged them in there they both work so once I have a new color group assigned then I'm going to select my artwork and once you have artwork, any artwork selected, you'll see an icon at the top. It looks like a color wheel, and it's called Recolor Artwork. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to tell it I want it as a four color, and then click this color group right here. And it'll put them, if, it might adjust some of them, but that's okay. Don't freak out if I know where the colors go. So this one's red. I need to match red up to red, so I'm just going to grab on the right-hand side, drag it to red, drag the yellow to yellow, drag the brown to brown and there is spot color separated. You don't need to save the group when you hit OK. And then if I go to print this out, you'll see my output is in separations. There is four separations here. So it automatically recolored it for me on there. If I can adjust, if I need to adjust, make little adjustments, I can do that pretty quickly. I know the this bun doesn't match the color, but when they go to print output, it doesn't really matter. So that is how you recolor artwork very quickly and make tons of cash for doing something that didn't take very much work at all on your behalf. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any comments, leave them below. Thank you.